goblins are blamed for invincible torment of a boy in botswana what's up guys welcome back to mystery truths goblin stories of the shape-shifting often invincible sometimes murderous kinds are staples in south africa and zimbabwe even in modern times so one from botswana is unusual referred to in those countries as tikoloshe tukoloshe tokolosi or tokolotshe belief in them is strong enough that even the local police fear them that has point to the fact that these spirits or water spirits can be conjured up by religious leaders and also banished by the same leaders a classic religious scam that didn't face the family of a boy in the village of tobane in eastern botaswan who became so terrified by an unseen force seemingly attacking him that his family was forced to send him away. Tikoloshe bullying or something else. The boy's grandmother, Matala Modise, told local media source The Voice that at first she suspected bullying by an Uma Patricia, who is the daughter to a traditional doctor in the village. It is possible that she attends the same Tobani primary school as her 11-year-old grandson who came home complaining of an invisible slapper often enough that his parents took him out of school and sent him to live in Madinari. While Matala Modise believed the spirit was a real person, something changed her mind. That was enough to bring in village leaders who found nothing and a village pastor prophet frank maud of heavenly embassy international church who has dealt with these stories before sexual assault is one thing often reported by alleged decoloche victims stealing underwear unwanted touching and even rape are others that leads prophet maud to use marriage counseling rather than tokolosi exorcism to deal with them of course there are plenty of others who would rather feed on the superstitions in 2020 in zimbabwe a goblin or tukolosi was blamed for killing livestock and police allegedly saw it and ran away fake prophets who came to help were caught hiring a little person to impersonate a goblin so they could catch him and collect their seven thousand dollars fee Many Tikoloshe stories involve stone throwing, which is sometimes a portal-gazed activity, but more often done by tormenting humans in hiding. There is also some thought that the Tikoloshe killings can be blamed on hyenas whose behavior and laughing noises have long linked them to witchcraft. Some stories have which is shape-shifting into appellate tikoloshes and riding hyenas. In a sense, hyenas are the trickster coyotes of Southern Africa. That doesn't solve the problem of the 11-year-old boy in Botswana who claims he is slapped by an invisible force. Perhaps it is time for a change with so many adults today fearful of unseen forces that control their lives maybe we should stop planting the seeds of imaginary evil creatures in the minds of kids just to get them to go to sleep or finish their dinners so guys this is a very interesting story a very interesting fact that most people today fear a lot of things thinking they exist not knowing that they've been deceived they've been tricked a lot of people watch it from movie and they just believe that those things exist and start to carry it in their heads so if you've had any series of experience of real life experience and you've seen such creature kindly leave it in the comment section let us see or let us know or let us know what's happened what transpired between you and such creature so guys thank you very much for watching see you next time don't forget to subscribe turn on notification bell icon to get notified on when next we upload new videos